Twilio SendGrid makes it super simple to send your first email in five minutes or less. In this video, we're going to show you how it works in PHP, but if you use any of the programming languages appearing on screen right now, there's a helper library to help you out. Let's take a look at how it works. Your app makes a post request to slash mail slash send over in SendGrid, and SendGrid sends an email to your user's inbox. We'll start by creating an API key. Head into SendGrid and go under Settings to API Keys. Hit the Create API Key button and give it a name. Go to Restricted Access and scroll down to where it says Mail Send and expand that and click on where it says Mail Send. Scroll down and hit the Create and View button. Copy the key that appears here and store it in an environment variable. Inside of the terminal, I'm going to create a directory for our project called send email PHP and change directories into it. We're going to use Composer to install the SendGrid helper library, so I'll create a composer.json file, and I'll also create our send email.php file. And then I'll open this up in a text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever you want. Let's open that composer.json file and specify our dependencies. So inside of here, we'll have a require property, and that's going to be sendgrid slash sendgrid, and we'll use version 7. Give this file a save and open up the integrated terminal and run composer install to install the sendgrid helper library. Once that's done, we'll open up the send email PHP file and start writing our code to send the email. We'll require the vendor slash autoload.php file, which will pull in the sendgrid helper library that we just installed with composer. Then we'll create a email object calling new sendgrid slash mail slash mail. Then we'll use that email object to set the from email address. Now this is an email address that I've authenticated inside of sendgrid. Details on that down in the description. But that's going to be me at brentschooley.com and set my name to Brent Schooley. Next we'll set the subject for the email and that's the subject line and it's going to say sending with sendgrid is fun. Then we'll set the to email address and this is another email just this could be anything that you want to send to. This one's going to be Brent from Twilio at gmail.com. And it's also me, so I'll set my name to Brent Schooley. Next, we'll add some content to our email. The first set of content will be for plain text HTML readers. So we'll set it to text slash plain. And we'll say, and easy to do anywhere, especially with PHP. Then we'll set some content for if it's an HTML email client. So we'll set it to text slash HTML. And we'll wrap that same text inside of a strong tag. Next, we'll create a SendGrid object, so that's going to be new SendGrid, and the parameter it takes here is my SendGrid API key, which I have stored in an environment variable called SendGrid underscore API underscore key. Now, inside of a try-catch block, it is the internet after all, we're going to call SendGrid send and pass it the email that we created, and then we'll store the response in a response object. And then we'll log out some details about that response to the command line just to see what happens when we send the email so that we know that it worked correctly. Down in the catch block, just in case anything went wrong, we'll catch the exception that gets thrown by the helper library, and we'll just log that out to the command line as well. Give this file a save, head to your terminal, and run php send email.php. You'll get the response right away. You can see here it's a 202 accepted from the API, which means our email will get created. If I head over to Gmail at this point, we'll see that my email is indeed in my inbox and it's wrapped in that strong tag since we're viewing it in HTML and it came from and went to the right email addresses. That's all there is to it.